How are your aspirations changing as your experience grows? And I, I think the biggest thing I've realized is that the scope of the um, possibilities are outpacing the, the physical growth of the company, um, which is really exciting. So even as we continue to grow, I'm seeing that the landscape is expanding exponentially. So with that, you know, my aspirations are, are expanding as well. So it's kind of like growth begets more growth in a way. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about that. Um, well, a, a good example of that is thinking about our business a little bit more strategically and moving beyond, um, you know, being widely known as a conference or an event program. You know, last year we added um, a research element to what we do. We started doing um, salons as well, smaller programs that kind of keep us connected to our community um, all throughout any given year. So if I look at this year going forward, you know, we're expanding the salon concept to some of our other cities. Um, we're producing even more research. And now we're thinking about how do we sort of, um, I guess, put a, a more institutional structure onto the learnings and the things we're taking away, which might take any number of different shapes. So those those ideas of of what this can really be are, are really expanding. Hey, tell me more about the institutional element. What does that mean? What we've done so far is we've created a really strong community. We have these amazing thought leaders all throughout the world that are that are experts in their particular fields, whether they're artists, they're musicians, they're philanthropists, um, they're involved in startup culture. Whatever, whatever it is that they're doing, they're very successful at that. And what I like to see now is us taking that community and turning it toward ex like a learning based community where we're actually coming up with a, a academic type of framework that can then be disseminated and shared more, more widely.